good morning so in this problem we see the development of the square tray you can see in this uh, diagram they have given top and front view so with respect to it uh, we are going to construct the first orthographic view of it and then we draw the development for it okay so initially uh, you should adjust for the space okay how much space is required for that uh, top and front view you have to adjust it and then as you doing one problem you can able to understand the clear understanding here you have to take first i will write uh, x y v p h p so we will try to do this problem in a first quadrant like top and front view i'll be constructing the same top and front view uh, with the dimensions here and then i'm going to draw the development of the square tray okay here development of the square tray is easy you can see first uh, I have to construct a rectangle dimension 100 into 60 okay I will take a thicker uh, here 100 into 60 rectangle okay now another rectangle centrally we have to place that is uh, uh, 60 into 30 okay that okay first for that in order to place, place it centrally first we will draw the diagonals here so that it will be convenient for us to get the center point so we can able to place it properly at the center again i will go to rectangle by center giving width and height 60 into 30 okay place it centrally centrally at it i am going to place it okay now I have to join these uh, extreme corner points of these uh, two rectangles. Okay, before that, I am going to trim it the unnecessary lines here using the trim command. I am going to trim it. Okay. Sixty by thirty. Central you can place trim it off the unnecessary things here. Now you need to connect the extreme corner point of these two rectangles using strike line. So you can show the dimensions for the inner uh, rectangle. Now we have to join the slant edges here. So we can connect. Okay, so the top view is over. Now we have to draw the front view. For that we have to draw the projection lines. So first we construct the projection lines here. So draw the front view just by extending the lines here for a height of 40. I am going to join it. Height you can give 40 so it will be convenient for us to construct the front view okay now we will try to connect it with the thick line here okay so this completes the front view also so we can show the dimensions how it is there here okay now we have to give the namings for this top and uh, front views so so i'll give the notations so outer rectangle i'll give the naming as one two three four okay and in the rectangle i am going to give a b c d 
A, B, C, D. In the same way, I am going to write the front view of this. Okay. Okay, now we have to draw the development for this. I'll go to ArcPy Center. Okay, measuring from this end. Yes, this length I'm going to measure. And cut an arc till XY line. Okay. Yes. The same way. And same way I'm going to do it on the other side also. From C to D. Or C dash to D dash. C dash from C D dash to 3, 4. Measuring this length from here to here. And you can cut the arc. Okay. Okay, now project the line downward here. You can give the namings here, no problem. You can give one double dash and two double dash. And three double dash and four double dash. Now project the lines here downward, draw the projection lines, okay. So, draw the projection lines here. Now draw horizontal lines also here so that we get the intersection of these points. Can give that naming as one this side, this side uh, one. And give one only, no problem. You can that is what the intersection of that point. Okay. In that point you can give two. Okay. That is your three. That is point number four. Now I can join with this straight lanes. Okay, now you join this from A to the newly written points with a straight line. Okay, I'll try to join here. From A to 1, the newly written. Uh, uh, cut a point from here. Okay, now you can connect this with a straight line from 1 to A. The newly written points from 2 to B and from D to 4 and C to 3. Okay, that's what the development of that particular portion. Okay, now we have to cut the arc of this lens 1A with a right side and d4 on the upper side and b2 on the lower side and c3 on the lower side okay you can connect it so this is what the development of this particular uh, the portion of this side okay now we have to cut the arcs here so go to arc by center measure then measuring the length from b2 b2 to so cut the arc on this vertical edge same way from c to 3 measure it measure the length and cut the arc
same way you can do it on the upper side also measure from D to 4 the longer edge you have to select okay don't select the smaller edge here you have to select the longer edge here remember it okay now you join it with the straight lines here so newly cutted arc points we get it right so connect it with that a b c d points okay go to line and then connect it with the vertical edges and that is the development of that particular side lateral side okay see there like this you can join Okay. Now can join join with the horizontal lines here. Can connect. You will make these uh, lines as thin lines. The inner part lines. Okay. So try to connect uh, by zooming in properly. Okay. So that will be the good way. Now horizontal lines we have to draw here. take the thick line 0 0.50 and join these extreme points on the both side okay so that completes the problem you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notification and thank you for watching and share it to the maximum students thank you all